the first step we need to take care of is adding the client certificate to the client workstation so it's trusted. We need to take this step because we're using a self-signed certificate that's not trusted by default. If we had a PKI or purchased a certificate from a trusted authority, we wouldn't need to take this step. We'll get started by copying the client certificate to the client, not the root certificate. Let's go back to the configuration workstation, the one we created the certificates on. Here are the certificates, both the root and the client cert. Let's copy the client cert to our client workstation. Once we have it on our client workstation, we'll double click on the certificate to open it. Leave it set at current user and click next. Leave the location and the file name, keep it as a .pfx. We'll go next. Enter the password we gave it when we initially exported the certificate. We can leave the rest default, go to next. Leave the location set to automatic and go next. And at completing the certificate import wizard, click finish. We can click yes at the security warning. It looks like that was successful. Let's click OK. 